Oh my god. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been amazing. Lately, I've been having a huge writer's block, but the producer's version of writer's block. So, I don't know what you call that. Producer's block? I don't know. Anyways, I really needed to fix it, and I had this idea. Um, what if I write down a list of cool tips and tricks I can... I got something in my eye. <laughs> a list of cool and fun tips and tricks um, I can look at whenever I'm feeling stuck. And sure enough, I was having writer's block. I tried it out and it actually worked out. I made something really sick. It just triggers like the creative side, you know? So I thought it will be a great idea if I share these secret based techniques <laughs> with you guys just to help you guys out as well. But don't tell anybody else. Secret techniques. Base number one. I call this the phase base. So the technique is very simple. You have a basic base, regular wub, turn the voices all the way up to 16. Turn the random down. Create that effect. Now, what you're gonna do, this is a secret trick right here. You go into the global tab of Serum, turn the width down all the way to zero. Now you're gonna get now some a couple a couple more tweaks you automate the detune so it's like round and that is the face bass you hear this a lot in rhythm dubstep right now number 2 the color bass now this bass consists of putting chord elements inside a regular bass so we're going to be using this bass right here, a simple wub. What you do is you grab a vocoder and you put it on external mode. You route that external from the audio from into some basic chords, regular saw waves. Next you mute the saws and play the bass with the vocoder on. Now if you have trouble with that and it seems a bit confusing to you, you can download my free color base rack on my website. Super easy to use, check this out. Next is creating a metallic effect using delay. Now you can use any type of delay, it doesn't really matter, they all do the same thing. So the technique for this metallic effect is turning on a delay and making it super fast. So this is a normal delay. Now if you make it faster, You get like the classic crazy rhythm bass. It's all about playing with the time and you get very different variations of tone. Super fun. Am I still recording? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I test out if I'm recording. Next up is called the <laughs> Yoi effect. <laughs> now you can start with a simple wub with just sine waves. And then grab a down sampler. You can use Ableton's Redux or Serum's built-in uh, distortion down, sam uh, down sampling right here. Next up is the Alien Laser Beam. Step. What you do is you can start off with a simple triangle wave and a down sampler. Just some ringy effect, you know? Grab a frequency shifter, and this is where the real fun begins. You start messing with the frequency, frequency. you just bring it up. <laughs> Now if you want to have a little bit more fun with this, you can play around with volume automation. Turn on a wobble. This is just volume automation. By the way, if you want to have this basic central track, it has it includes all kinds of effects in it from wobble to gargle to maximizing. I love that. I use it in all my songs. Next, I call this the space warp effect. The frequency shifter is super powerful. Put the dry wet around mm -mm, at one fourth and then mess with the fine. Little by little, you're gonna start to see how cool this makes a regular bass from, from this 
two. So insane, I love that effect. Next up is the guttural. This basically, uh, I use phaser to create a guttural type sound towards any bass or sound, anything really. So you have a regular bass. Put a phaser on it and bring the settings around here. Turn up the LFO and make the rate super fast. Again, this is also included in my Bass Essentials rack to create a gargle out of anything without having to add a phaser. Next up is changing time and pitch. Pitching the bass. Mm. Pushing the boundaries of pitch within the synthesizer. Going as low of a pitch you can possibly go with the wavetable. This one, I'm using a regular saw wave. But when you pitch it down, to the absolute lowest it can go, you start hitting the wave cycles and hearing each wave cycle hit, kind of like. Check this out. Otherwise, if you put it to the regular uh, octave that it's in, it would sound so boring. Pitch it all the way down again. So fun to do. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I made this video for you guys to come to whenever you're having trouble, so feel free if you're feeling stuck. Come back to this video, go through the tips. I'll maybe put some timestamps in the description for all the techniques so you guys can easily come to them and just try them out. Uh, you know, just create new ideas and, and I would love to hear what you guys make from this. You can find all my presets, samples, everything including free stuff on my website in the description below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want a part two, let me know. Maybe I'll do another list of cool tips and tricks. Maybe not just for basses, but maybe for melodies or random things you know uh just i, I kind of like this list idea it's kind of cool all right guys peace out i will see you on the next video i'll be here producing still oh the video's still on oh bye